Engine oils versus gear oils. Well, a lot of us have got this doubt on what makes them different from each other. So I went ahead and got them lab tested. And the results were surprising indeed, as the difference is not just about viscosity, but completely different on the additive and formulation part. Let me start off by breaking one of the biggest myths where a lot of us including mechanics assume that a 75W90 gear oil must be twice as viscous when compared to a regular 10W40 or a 10W50 grade engine oil. But if we dive deep then we will come across the SAE viscosity rating system which is different for engine oils and gear oils. Where engine oils follow the SAE J300 standards and gear oils follow the SAE J306 standards. If we simplify this with an example, then you will notice that the Motul 710010W50 has got a similar viscosity figures of Motul's own 75W90 gear oil. To be precise, the 710010W50 is actually a bit more viscous here. So please don't get confused between the different viscosity standards in gear oils, engine oils and hydraulic oils. It's like confusing the carrot system in golds and diamonds. So now that we have got the viscosity out of our way, let's take this ahead with the formulations. Different lubricants are formulated based on their application and desired expectations, where an engine oil might have friction, heat management and cleanliness as a prime priority. On the other hand, gear oils will usually give preference to handling shear stress, shock load and extreme pressure situations. Of course, lubrication and protection from wear and tear along with corrosion remains as a common agenda for most lubricants. Things can become complex in case of motorcycles where a majority of them have got a wet clutch system and a common sum for both engine and gearbox. Therefore, we have taken a motorcycle engine oil for this comparison which will give us a clear idea. With the viscosity done, we will take the discussion on physical properties ahead with Flashpoint where the Motul 710010W40 has got a flashpoint of 236 degrees Celsius, while the Motul 75W90 gear oil has got a flashpoint of 198 degrees Celsius which is significantly lower. And the reason can be justified as gear oils do not face direct heat from the combustion chamber and thermally speaking, gear oils face a lot less harsher environment when compared to engine oils. For the same reason, the pore point is usually kept lower in gear oils as they take time to warm up in absence of heat source like engine oils. Moving ahead to the additive part, engine oils take detergents and dispersants very seriously as there is a lot of heat, burning, deposition and contamination happening on the engine side. Calcium and magnesium plays an important cleaning role here where Motul 7100 has got 2473.3 parts per million of calcium and around 20 parts per million of magnesium. Comparatively, the gearbox has got a cleaner environment and the formulation on the Motul gear oil shows that with just 13 parts per million of calcium and 2 parts per million of magnesium. Similarly, the anti-wear and anti-corrosion additives in the Motul 7100 can be represented by boron at 19.4 parts per million and zinc at 1286.6 parts per million. On the other hand, the Motul gear oil has got nothing in comparison where zinc is at 13 parts per million and boron is at just 1 part per million. Additional friction modifier like molybdenum is kind of absent in the Motul gear oil. Now things will become really interesting when we move towards the extreme pressure additives. We start this off with phosphorus where Motul 7100 gets 1103.2 parts per million of phosphorus which helps the oil to perform in extreme pressure situations. And finally, we get to see some rise on the Motul gear oil side with 567 parts per million of phosphorus that helps to boost the EP properties. And then we have sulfur which can be called as the star additive of this event that beats every record and takes the gear oil ahead with 15,300 parts per million of sulfur. Sulfur is primarily found in almost every gear oil as a prime EP additive, where it forms sulfide layer on the metal parts of gearbox. This layer prevents direct wear and tear during the meshing of gears. Sulfur can be found as active sulfur compound in gear oils that offers protection right from low temperature operation. While regular sulfur additives get activated at higher temperature. Although active sulfur additives are preferred, they need to be balanced as they are considered mildly corrosive for copper, brass and bronze parts. This can be noted by motorcycle riders who plan to use gear oil on their brass coated chain sprockets. I hope you all got to learn something new from this video and this is happening because of all your love and support. This particular gear oil is compatible with both GL4 and GL5 recommendations. Let me know in the comments if you want a lab test video comparing individual GL4 and GL5 gear oils. So that's it for this video and I hope you guys have liked it.